the last time I did a uh, like a first try on type of video you guys seemed to really enjoy it so here I am back again I have so many new products that I'm so excited to try out um if you guys didn't know my birthday was March 11th which was last Friday when this video goes up it'll be a week you know that my birthday passed so I did get tons of gift cards and I got money and I just got some makeup so I decided to just save it and film a video for you guys so we can film it. My mouth is on fire because I was eating hot Cheetos so excuse that. So all the products that I will be mentioning to you again are products that I have either been collecting and saving. I do have a few products that were sent to me as PR packages from some companies and I will let you guys know which those are. So the first products I'm going to be trying out today is this um, Intensive Anti-Aging Face Serum and Foundation Primer Oil. This is an anti-aging intensive serum for morning and night, non-greasy and silky formulation foundation primer. Um, it says that you're supposed to just rub it in between your hands and then if you are going to use it as a foundation primer, you're supposed to wait 10 minutes before you apply your actual foundation. I'm going to dispense a full pump. Just like it asks, it's a oil. It is an actual oil. So I'm just going to dispense this onto the hands. It feels really smooth on the skin and it doesn't feel heavy. It doesn't, even though it's an oil, it doesn't feel heavy like an oil. So now I'm gonna move on to this um, skin tone correcting and brightening serum. It's by Stila. It's the one step corrector and I actually just picked this up yesterday. I actually got this for only $18 and it normally retails for almost $40. It's like $38. So I'm really excited to try this. And it looks like guacamole. I'm going to take a little bit more. Whoa, my face looks so red. I'm going to take a little bit more. How a pelo. And I'm going to apply that to my forehead. Okay, so now we are going to move on to foundation and the other day I picked up this Laura Geller Bates Liquids Radiance Foundation with color correcting pigments and I got mine in the color Sand. The glass bottle is actually really cute and it has a pump. I've never tried any Laura Geller products besides their Gilded Honey Highlight which I lost and I've never been able to find. I'm just going to have to just buy one and it's rather thick it's not runny as you can see it's not running you know down my hand so it's going to be a thicker consistency it doesn't say if it's full medium or light coverage but it says that it's supposed to leave your skin with a natural skin finish and it's supposed to look radiant and glowy so it might be medium coverage I'm going to take my beauty blender and I'm just going to Start applying that. As you can see, my skin looks super glow glowy, very dewy. I actually really like that. I would say that it's light to medium coverage. I can definitely see still see some redness peeking through right here and a little bit through here. So I'm going to apply just a tiny bit more. I really like the finish of this foundation. It's just your skin looks very healthy. I really like that. So I'm going to apply my concealer. I picked up the Wet n Wild Instant Flawless Complexion um, Concealer. This is an highlighting and concealing pen in Ivory Into You, which is a weird name. Um, but the other ones looked too dark and the other one looked too pink. And this one looked like it had like the perfect yellow undertone. So this is the one that I picked up. Well, that's going to be way too light. That's okay. We'll make it work. I 
just with my beauty blender and I'm going to again blend it all out. Oh my god, this is so white. Okay, I'm gonna have to mix it with another one. I look like a freaking clown. Yeah, that's way too light. Okay, that looks a little bit better. <clears throat> so now I'm gonna set my concealer. And I picked up the It Cosmetics Bye Bye Pores in Translucence. I've heard really good things about it, so I'm really excited to try this product out. I also have here the RCMA No Color Powder, the one that Kathleen Lights raves about. I am going to be baking with this powder, and we'll see how that looks. I'm going to quickly set my face um, and I'm going to use the MAC Studio Fix Powder Plus Foundation. I picked mine up in the color NC42. My foundation is an NC40, but it looked too dark and this one looks about right. So I'm just going to set my face. So now I'm going to take the Wet n Wild Contouring Palette in Caramel Toffee. I actually tried this about a year or two years ago when it first came out and I didn't like the product. So this is supposed to be a new formula so we're going to try it out and see what we think. I'm going to take the contour shade and I'm just going to bronze up my entire face. I'm going to take the banana shade and I'm just going to apply that underneath the eye just to brighten up underneath this area a little bit more. Hmm. It's not bad at all. I like it a lot better. <clears throat> than the very first time that I tried it. So now I'm gonna move on to the eyes. I'm gonna take the Too Faced Peanut Butter and Jelly Palettes. Um, my sister actually gifted this to me for my birthday. She asked me what I wanted. I was like, you can give me the new Too Faced Palette. She's like, okay, I'll get you that. So this is the baby right here. Um, I'm gonna see what colors I'm wearing, but since I'm wearing like a peach shirt, I'm thinking I'm sticking with these three right here, like the bronzy ones so I'm actually gonna go ahead and fill in my brows I did recently do an updated eyebrow tutorial so I will have that linked down below I'm gonna do that and then we can just move on to the eyes I'm gonna take the color peanut butter and I'm going to apply that all over the crease right here whoa that's pigmented I'm going to take my favorite fluffy brush. This is the Pro Tapered Blending by Beauty Junkies. And I'm just going to blend that color to make sure I don't have any harsh lines. I'm going to pick up Nuts About You, which is this orangey color. And I'm going to define the crease a little bit more. I'm going to take Peanut Brittle, which is this one right here, and I'm going to apply that to the center of the lid. I'm 
I'm gonna grab a little bit of peanut butter cup. It's like a rustic gold with a little bit of shimmer. And I'm going to apply that right here just to define the crease a little bit more because peanut brittle, the one that we applied on the center, is very similar to these colors. So I just want to make sure that this stands out a little bit more. I'm going to pick up Extra Creamy, which is the white base, and I'm going to apply that all over the brow bone. I did try the Sensational Lash Sensational Luscious Full Fun Effects um, Mascara by Maybelline, and I actually really like how my lower lashes came out. So I'm just going to finish off the face with a liquid illuminator that I picked up from Sephora. This is the Radiant Luminizing Drops, and I got mine in Ultra Light. So I'm actually going to apply it to my Beauty Blender. Apply it to the areas where I want to highlight. I am going to set this luminizer, even though it's gorgeous on its own, it blended out really nicely. I'm going to set it with my Wet n Wild Hollywood Boulevard highlight. And I'm taking this Pro Highlighter um, Brush by Beauty Junkies. Love this stuff. It'll be in my description box. And I'm just going to set that. I'm going to bring that around here. a little bit on my brow bone huh? almost So I'm going to try out some of these new J. Cat Soft Matte Lip Coolers. Um, they sent me a little care package. Thank you so much, J. Cat. And they sent me some different colors. And these remind me so much of the NYX Soft Matte Lip Creams where they are matte, but they're just not fully matte where they will over dry your lips. I think I'm going to go with this one. This is called frozen choco and oh that looks really pretty so I'm going to use this one oh, it matches my sweater perfectly okay guys so this is the finished look I actually really really like this lipstick it's a matte it hasn't dried down yet but it is absolutely gorgeous it is like so springy so this is my try on slash first impression on some products let me know down below in the comment section if you guys are going to be picking up any of these products and if so which ones or if maybe you're curious about them again i will have all the information in the description bar down below and i will also have an update so anyway thank you guys so much for watching don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't and i'll see you guys in my next video bye guys